history, there was a brave young adventurer named Lysandra. She had always been fascinated by tales of dragons, those majestic and fearsome creatures said to inhabit a remote island hidden deep within the uncharted waters of the Great Sea. Lysandra had grown up listening to her grandmother's stories of the Dragon's Isle, a place where dragons of every size and color were said to dwell. It was a land of untold treasures and unimaginable danger. To most, it was a legend, a myth, but Lysandra believed. One bright morning, as the sun painted the sky with hues of gold and orange, Lysandra stood on the edge of her small coastal village, gazing out at the vast expanse of the great sea. She knew that she could no longer ignore the call of the dragons. With determination burning in her heart, she decided to set sail for the dragon's Isli. She spent weeks preparing for her journey, gathering supplies, and researching every tidbit of information about the mysterious Island. The legend spoke of three challenges that awaited any who dared to seek the dragons. The first was the Whispering Forest, a dense woodland filled with ancient talking trees. The second was the Stormy Straits, a treacherous stretch of water where tempests raged perpetually. And the third was the Labyrinthine Caves, a maze of tunnels guarded by creatures of darkness. Lysandra's journey was not without peril. In the Whispering Forest, the trees whispered secrets of lost civilizations and forgotten spells. She listened carefully, learning valuable knowledge that would aid her in the challenges ahead. The stormy straits lived up to their name, testing Lysandra's sailing skills and resolve. She navigated through towering waves and fierce winds, never losing sight of her goal. Finally, she reached the shores of the Dragon's Isle, her heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and fear. The island was a breathtaking realm of lush greenery and cascading waterfalls, but danger lurked in every shadow. Lysandra ventured deep into the labyrinthine caves, where she faced eerie creatures and tricky puzzles. She used her wits, courage, and the knowledge she had gained from the Whispering Forest to overcome each challenge. As she delved deeper, she felt the presence of the dragons growing stronger. In the heart of the labyrinth, Lysandra came face to face with the guardian of the dragons, a colossal serpent of iridescent scales and wise, ancient ease. It was the last and most formidable challenge. Lysandra spoke from her heart expressing her reverence for the dragons and her sincere desire to learn from them. She told the serpent of her journey, the lessons she had learned, and the respect she held for all living creatures. The serpent, moved by her words, revealed the path to the dragon's lair. There, in a hidden cavern illuminated by the soft glow of dragonfire, Lysandra met the dragons. They were magnificent and awe-inspiring, each unique in its own way. Over time, she earned their trust and was taught the ancient ways of magic and wisdom. Years passed, and Lysandra returned to her village, her heart and mind enriched by the knowledge she had gained. She shared her experiences and wisdom with her people, bringing prosperity and harmony to her land. And so, the tale of Lysandra and the Dragon's Isle became a new legend, a story of courage, wisdom, and the enduring bond between humans and dragons. It was a reminder that even in a world filled with magic and mystery, the greatest adventures were often those of the heart.